Hi guys, it is Wednesday, um, 8, 12 in the morning. I'm actually at work in the car. Um, I'm going to try and do, I think I'm going to try and do my pregnancy vlogs on my phone now. Um, obviously I'm going to have to do a different clip with the belly shot um, at the end because I'm sitting in my car. But um, every time I do it on my computer, it will not play back on iPhones. And I feel bad because I know I watch all my videos on the iPhone, on the iPhone, well, most of them. Um, and then, like, the ones that I can't, I just don't watch a lot of times. So, I'm going to try and fix it. Hopefully this works. But, um, today is Wednesday, May 16th. Um, I'm very excited because tonight my husband and I are going to Cirque du Soleil. Um, it's the Michael Jackson show at the DCU Center in Worcester. Um, we got those tickets for Christmas from, um, our friend Mike. And I'm super excited because we went to a Cirque show... When did we go to a Cirque show? Like two years ago, and we went to the Alegria show, and it was phenomenal. Um, so I cannot wait to get back in there. Um, so for my symptoms this week, a lot of the same symptoms I've been having, um, although I do have new symptoms. Yesterday, which would be <laughs> week six, day seven, my very last day of week six, I had the worst food aversions and nausea I've ever had. Um, so it's finally started, I think. Um, my husband and I made stir-fry for dinner on Monday night. And then Tuesday, yesterday, for breakfast, he opened up the stir-fry, and I thought I was instantly going to vomit. Um, it was just... The, the smell was just one of those smells. It was basically like somebody smelling manure or something disgusting. That's how it smelled to me. And, I mean, anybody else probably would have thought it smelled amazing. It was like a teriyaki stir-fry with brown rice and carrots, broccoli, chicken, um, peppers, onions. It just had all these. It was really good for you, and it was delicious when I had it. But, apparently, my stomach was not all about that today. I mean, yesterday. Um, and I just was kind of, like, fighting off nausea all day. I had to bring crackers to work, which I've never had to do yet. Um, so that wasn't very fun. So that was the main one. Um, my face is finally cleared up from last week, so that's good. Um, I definitely had a lot of cramping yesterday, and I had a little bit of a scare. I thought, um, you know, sometimes you can, like, wipe. This is TMI, but you know how sometimes you can wipe, and it looks like there's blood, but there was there is no blood? That's what I thought. Um, I had, like, kind of dark urine, which means I'm just not drinking enough water, even though I have been drinking a lot of water. Um, and it, it was... Um, I don't know, my urine was just so dark that I thought that there was, like, a brownish discharge, which made me very nervous. Um, but it ended up being nothing. That was fine. Um, otherwise, what else? Still tired. Um, I've been going to bed super early. I literally get home, make some food. Um, it's actually a rare occasion that I actually make dinner. Um, my husband's been really, really good about that. So he'll, like, just make something quick for us. Yesterday, um, he didn't go to work. He hurt his back a while a while ago like when he was in high school and um he like crushed vertebrae in his back so whenever the weather's not that great like in Massachusetts it's been kind of like fluctuating with nice weather and then um like rainy humid so the poor thing's back has been killing him so he called out of work yesterday and um he kind of he made me dinner when I got home he made me a quesadilla um with cheese and chicken and bacon and it was really good but now the thought of that today makes me want to vomit <laughs> Um, so it's just very interesting, the things that you get food aversions to. Um, what else? Um, my weight, ha I'm officially at 137, so I've gained two pounds now. That's going to be definitely a, a hard mental thing for me, but I haven't really been exercising much. I went for a walk on Mother's Day with my mom on Sunday, um, for a pretty long walk. I'd say we did at least, like, three to four miles, and, um... But other than that, I haven't been exercising at all, and I really do need to because that's just going to help me get back in shape once the pregnancy is over. Um, so I think that's about it. Um, still not really, sh I'm not showing at all, I just feel bloated. Um, it says that this week the baby's still the size of a blueberry, um, but my uterus is now the size of an orange, which is bigger. I guess it's usually the size of a fist, and... Um, I kind of think that an orange is the size of a fist, so I don't see the difference. I guess they mean a big orange. <clears throat> um, so that is basically it. Um, the baby finally, it doesn't look so much like a reptile or a seahorse. I guess it kind of looks more like a baby. It's actually sprouting limbs now. 
Um, so that's very exciting. But this video is about five minutes. Um, I think that's all I wanted to say. I am feeling really good. Um, and I know I said I was, I'm recording this video on Wednesday, but I'm going to post it probably on Friday or Saturday. Um, and then I'll let you guys know what is in store for next week. Um, hopefully the nausea doesn't last until the end of the first trimester, which it says it can. Um, but you know what? If it's like this, I can deal with that. I do feel nauseous, but as long as I make sure that I eat something, like whenever I wake up in the morning now, I am nauseous already. Um, and I heard that that's because you don't have anything in your stomach and your body is using so much energy to create the baby that you feel nauseous. And they said that it can be related to the increase in HCG and estrogen in your body um, that's actually causing <coughs> the, um, the symptoms of nausea and vomiting. Although I haven't vomited, thank God. Um, and I also wanted to say thank you to Bipper, um, my fellow, or my <laughs> nurse friend on YouTube. Um, she's getting married very shortly, but she, I didn't even think of this. Um, I learned in nursing school that when you have a calcium deficiency, it does make your eyes, it causes muscle twitching. And I didn't even think of that. I was like, I know it was some sort of electrolyte imbalance, but... It was calcium the whole time. That's definitely what it is. And my body has been craving calcium now that I think about it. Like, we have shredded cheese that we put on uh, my dog's food, and I've been craving that. Like, I'll go into the fridge, and I'll actually eat the cheese for no reason. And I usually don't do that. So I definitely, definitely think it is calcium. And I've been drinking a lot more milk because my body's been craving cereal, so that's good. Um, but, yeah, so now I am almost seven minutes into this video, and um, I do have to get into work, so... I will talk to you guys later. I'm going to post a belly shot at the end of this video, and I will see you all for... So this was week six recap, so I'll see you next week for week seven recap. Bye, guys. So sorry, I have the same shirt on that I've had before, and my dogs are behind me. So I don't know if you can see a difference. Molly is staring at me. I definitely think I am bulging out at this point. It feels very hard. Um, yeah. Um, and I know I said my weight has been around 137. Um, it's actually gone down a little bit. I've been around like 136. Um, I've been like 136.2, 136.5, 136.9. So I've been kind of everywhere in that range. But I'm going to end this so that my dogs stop being annoying. Um, so, yeah, that is week six pregnancy update. Um, I will, it's already time to do week seven. So check out or wait for a video update this Friday, and I'll see you guys then. Bye.